The attacks in Israel have led to hardship here for Peoria's Jewish community, and leaders feel compelled to act now. It's Friday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. Thanks for joining us. In our top story, Madison Porter is here to show us how a local congregation is trying to do what they can to keep people safe, Madison. And Tyler, they have done a lot of precautionary steps to do so, but it doesn't only boil down to threats over this past week, but actually the last several years. Your Jewish friends are not okay. Stephen Marks is the president of congregation at Anshai MF. It's a synagogue here in Peoria that makes safety a priority. We're trying to make sure we have at least two armed guards at every event. Um, previously, we've had one, but yes, we are uh, increasing our security measures. Mark says Anshai Emeth already pays several thousand dollars in security fees on top of the other measures they've taken in the past years, like installing cameras around the property and replacing doors and windows with bullet-resistant glass. Ten to fifteen years ago, um, I don't think we ever had armed security. We didn't have cameras on the building or anything. We generally have to step up security, and this one is going to be for an indefinite amount of time. And he says Peoria police have helped monitor and protect Anshay Emeth with roughly 100 families. I believe they actually reached out to us uh, even before we called them uh, when the event started unfolding on Saturday. So, yes, we are very thankful um, for the support of the Peoria Police Department. Merckx is also focused on mental health. There's talk of hiring a mental health professional, but in the meantime, he says his door is open. We're a small community. And we all know somebody who's been affected. And the Jewish Federation of Peoria is having the Murray Baker Bridge light up in blue and white Saturday evening in solidarity with Israel. One of the greatest commandments Jews have is welcoming the stranger. It's actually mentioned in the Bible more than any other commandment. And so it's frustrating. And so it's frustrating to not be able to do that. All the safety measures on Shai Emeth has were recommended by the FBI and the Secure Community Network that focuses on security for Jewish organizations. Why do they need it? Well, according to the FBI, there were 1,300 Jewish hate crimes in just a two-year span. That was from 2019 to 2021.